From the Solwezi deposit in Zambia, mined by the indigenous people who live around there, so not a product of formal mining, we have this very interesting formation of quartz, which is known as sugar quartz. Now, now typically these are the heads of elongated crystals going maybe this far, so even the, more than the length of the top. Uh, uh, which are held together by traces of girthite or hematite in stages of oxidation. But what's most fascinating about these is the uh, uh, purple heart they all have. So when you look from the top into them, you see this, this heart of purple. Now, rather than sugar quartz, I would call these candle quartzes because they portray this candle effect. You'll see tiny quartzes, a lot of them milky, clear, and maybe slight amethyst, and of course the heart of amethyst in the middle there. I've sought it to stand like this. Now, this is not to be mistaken for material which, uh, which I first saw last year, actually. I think there's a little bit of contact on that point, unfortunately, but furthermore, pretty perfect. A little bit of a nick there as well. Uh, I saw from China these manufactured clusters of quartz. This is definitely not that. This is natural, so it's formed as is, uh, held together by traces of girthite. When I trimmed these guys down, I actually saw them. I, I, I lost a lot of size, but I actually got some very nice pieces as as per this one too, out of the, the whole specimen. Not at all photogenic. These were much better appreciated when held in hand. So I've sawn it to stand flat like this, around like this. View from the top would be going around like that. All the way from the Solwezi deposit in Zambia. Uh, sugar quartz.